what is going on guys, it's Starshi and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Day of Dragons open beta trailer and patch notes. So hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So first things first, I'm going to play the Day of Dragons open beta trailer from the Day of Dragons official YouTube channel. And yeah, you guys can take a look at that and form your own conclusions on what you think, you know, if you liked it, if the features look cool and just, you know, your opinion on the trailer. And then after that, I'm going to go through the patch notes with you guys, which is basically everything that's going to be updated or changed or added in or included in the Day of Dragons open beta, which did release today. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And once again, if you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications.
Okay guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy that Day of Dragons open beta trailer and now we're gonna get on to the patch notes. So this is a bit of a lengthy section because there's a lot of introductions of new features and there's just a lot included in these patch notes. So anyway, Day of Dragons open beta release version 1 JO patch notes. Goodbye Alpha. Okay, so this is posted on Wednesday, July 21st, 2021 at 9.59 p.m. Uh, South African Standard Time SAST? Okay, anyway, please note, those who own or rent private DLD servers will want to do a clean install of Day of Dragons better. As the beta and old alpha are different games and not compatible, visit our Discord for the latest server configuration. So that's just for any of you guys who are doing private servers. Okay, so these are the patch notes for, for people moving from the alpha to the open beta. So added creature, shadow scale, starter dragon, special ability is the cloak, acid spitter, DLC dragon, uh, special ability is decaying bite, thornback crawler, which is an AI, poisonous effect when consumed. General mechanics, physics based flight version one, it has crash and fall damage, ha hatchlings can now glide if dropped from high heights. Okay, that's pretty cool. Swimming version one, swim, bladder, buoyancy control, acid spitter only, night vision version one, unique night vision for shadow scale unique night vision for acid spitter mutations and genetics hashling carry and struggle v1 nesting v1 skin crafting v1 prompt for when ground is not flat okay so i'm just gonna i'm only gonna read the main uh bullet points i'm not gonna read all these sub points because otherwise just reading out these patch notes is gonna take literally an hour so you guys can pause the video if you do want to read all these sub points but nesting v1 okay then camp campus and waypoint marker, dynamic growth system, okay, including Ashling, juvenile, adult, and alpha growth stages. Oh, so alpha actually is already implemented, that's cool. Death camera, ragdoll, corpse physics and carrying, first person camera, persistent plans, alpha growth system and unlocking mechanic, custom AI system, added animation IKFK, melanistic skin is unlockable for non kickstarters, good luck, okay. UI and HUD character panel, social panel, admin panel, character select menu with full DLC support, new loading screens and icon, new commands including 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 uh, slash help to list all commands. Okay, status effect icons for hunger, thirst, poison, bleed, super, and DK. New, new HUD graphic okay survival and combat systems stamina exhaustion mechanic when stamina is fully drained it takes a while before starting to regen okay uh bile exhaustion mechanic when bile is fully drained it takes a while okay resting mechanic sit lay sleep health now receives a regen boost when really low sickness mechanic sickness oh wait is that like if you overeat or does that just mean like your dragon could actually get sick okay that's interesting Added ability to drink from any water source. Hashlings can drink from puddles. Hints for interactions, talk, eat, drink. Many new damage types, piercing, blunt, plasma, acid, fire, DK slash bleed stacking, both stack up to three times. Added armor and bile regen. Added targeting camera, aiming ranged attacks, wound, bleed, and DK VFXs. Okay, setting and server configs, new game options, video options, audio, input options. Uh, simple profanity filter, full partial gamepad controller support plus keybinds, uh, new server config options, admin command and player kill logging, streamer mode to hide location and mute in-game music, and spectator mode. Okay, environment, forgotten forest biome version 1, interactive foliage dependent on creature size. Okay, oh, I'm not going to go through the rest, those are actually sub points. Changed, remove placeholder dragons, AI and maps, keybinds changed, improved safe log system. Okay, redesign chat system, remove many slash commands as new character panel makes them obsolete. Optimize chat data to decrease packet size. Chats now use a queue system to prevent chat lag. Re redesign starvation and dehydration mechanics. Revamp bite combat, redesign projectile bile combat. Steam master service now shows player accounts. Game now runs a hardware benchmark on first setup. Okay, game can now load medium settings, shadows can no longer be disabled, low foliage setting no longer disables foliage, unlimited frame cap removed, it's now capped at 60 FPS, save settings, save names changed, okay, refactored and optimized server code, refactored game code, server tick rate and replication frequency increased to attempt to reduce movement jitters. Client greater than server network optimizations and smoothing improvement, network optimizations, net code optimization updated, FMOD, 
uh, to version 2.01.09, increasing SFX performance. All creatures have been balanced with the new system. Group size is limited to 10 players. So yeah, that was quite a lot of stuff. Anyway, now we're going to look at the patch notes for closed beta to open beta. So, okay. And I'm just going to obviously go over the main bullet points and not go through the whole thing as well. Uh, added players on PvE servers can now type slash PvP to flag themselves for combat, allowing dueling or death. Uh, flag players have red glowing eyes. Okay, cool. Flagging can only be toggled if safe log is available. Okay, so that's to stop people just uh, toggling it on and off to obviously escape PvP. Added new exotic skin crafting, uh, missing control icons, added landmarks and water locations, more AI spawn locations, more mushroom spawn, added more player spawn, changed shadow scale dragon is available. Uh, deprecated Day of Dragons Alpha. Okay, yeah, they got rid of the Alpha. Day of Dragon now supports Falcon. Okay, updated various FF SFX. Knights are now darker. Admin unstuck, ab unstuck ability now fixes even more common player bugs. Hashling struggle ability is now 100% guaranteed to escape on PvE with an increased chance to escape on PvP servers. Tweaked mushroom spawning and spawn range to rebalance ASD. Okay, all chat color accepting a nest invite of the same species now reduces your corpse's food value to one to prevent corpse feeding from egg invites. Okay, reduced stamina drain and acid spitter, increased acid spitter and shadow scale swim speeds, improved flight, takeoff sinking. Okay, and then there's a bunch of stuff that they fixed as well. I'm not going to go through all of this. Just pause the video if you want to check it. Okay, let's scroll down. And yeah, that's it for the patch notes. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know the open beta is already out, but some people may want to, you know, just take a look at this, for example, take a look at the trailer and then take a look at the patch notes before they decide to, you know, hey, let me go download this update and actually try out the game again. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications. And if you have any questions about the game, feel free to answer them, ask them down below in the comment section. I may not be able to answer them all as I am currently updating my own game. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.